hello and welcome back to my channel it has been so long um unfortunately i am not traveling at the moment but i wanted to still make some content which is why i have purchased some snacks from japan uh i'm pretty sure everybody's heard about tokyo treats um i think it's quite popular nowadays um i saw recently an advertisement for their valentine's day boxes and i really wanted to buy some so i thought i would make it into a video and show you guys what came in the box and i also purchased their like sister brand which is the sakura co um i've never had this one before so i'm really excited to try it out it seems to be a bit more uh like traditional so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video and um thank you so much for coming back let's go so we will start with the Tokyo Treats box because I feel like um, everybody has heard of Tokyo Treats or had um, their own subscription at some point. So as you can see the box is so flipping cute so I'm sure I'll be able to find some random crap around my room to use this for. Um, and I have to apologise because I am quite ill-equipped to record this kind of a video. Um, I don't have a stand or anything like that, so I'm just going to have to show it to you like this. Um, oh! oh. <laughs> Cute! Uh -huh, nice! <laughs> but for now, let us have a gander at this little booklet that it comes with. Be my valentine. <laughs> oh, I will. What is this? So this is everything that we have. Oh, it's all pink. It looks so cute. Okay, we don't need to read that. Nobody wants to read the instructions. Everyone just wants to see what's in it. Actually, this has so much stuff. I feel like in my previous boxes, there weren't this much. So we have... Strawberry Shortcake Kit Kats. That's adorable. It's Pokemon. How cute is the love art? Chippies? <laughs> it's so cute. Some bake. I feel like these are, they're like hard lollies. I don't know why it looks like a little cake. I think this is little bubble gum. Like little individual ones. Cute. Some crisps. This one kind of looks like dog treats. Uh, is this soup? Oh no, it's little chips. Little strawberry lollies. Of course, I will give you like a close up and I will try them, but I just want to give you like the overview of what's in it first. I have this cute little candy packet, whatever this is, something strawberry. I'm wondering if it's not gum again. Ooh, chocolate. Tomato chippies. I've had these before, actually I've gotten them in a previous Tokyo Treats box, but I still like them, I love the packaging, they're so cute. <gasps> a drink, 100% fruit mix juice, sugoi, it actually looks really nice. We have this cute little packaging. These are little cinnamon donuts, I'm pretty sure. And the final thing is some ramen. Very cute little raccoon man. That is everything. Now, let's try it. <laughs> okay, so it is up to the exciting part where we are going to taste test everything. So I'm going to start off with this little drink because I'm a bit thirsty. So let us... See. Ooh. Have 
gloss with some eye. Perfect. Super way. It smells like. It smells like um. Like pine orange juice. Oh, come play. Mmm. Tastes like tropical punch. Golden punch. It's not very fizzy though. Maybe it's maybe I'm being stitched up. It's not supposed to be fizzy. It's just fruit juice, but not in a popper, in a can. Let's try the dog snacks. They just look like dog biscuits, right? They're bigger than I thought. <laughs> Why does it look like a little poop? Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's a peanut. Right. They're peanut snacks. Oh, it has little bits of peanut in it. Right. Caramel taro. It would go good with beer. I'll give it a seven. Let's try the corn potage. They look like um little cheese balls. But soupy. Cute. Mm. <gasps> Yum. <gasps> Yum. It's corn snacks that taste like potato soup. I would give this an 8.5. Mmm, a bit of a palate cleanser. Ah. The bake, the four bake, four. I wonder what. Oh, maybe they, maybe they're just supposed to represent the thing. Like it's like a log, right? These are individually wrapped as well. Ooh, they look very accurate to the picture. Tastes like baking chocolate that you got out of your cupboard and it's been there so long that it's starting to get like the white stuff on it. It's not that good. Not bad, um, but not good. What is this? Potato crisps, probably. They look very um, salty. Oh, that's strong. <laughs> it smells like curry. It's like a little surfboard. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's so salty.
not bad, not bad. Very salty though. I would give them an eight. Okay, let's try this little guy. I'm inclined to assume it's like crab flavored, but I'm probably wrong. Cute. It's a whole ass cracker. Oh, no. It's crab flavoured. It's like if you mashed a bunch of prawn chips into like mashed potato and then squished it really thinly and deep fried it. I added a bit of chili. Actually quite like this. It's really light. Mmm. I won't give it an eight. Packaging is flippin' cute. Kind of looks like bath salts. <gasps> so cute. Look. Look at that. And there's little circle ones too. It's like a backhanded band off. <laughs> like if you turn Red Bull into a candy. Ow. If you're the kind of person who has like intrusive thoughts about eating chalk, I think you'll really like these. Let's try this little one. <laughs> it's hard candies. Oh, I like the color. This one has an S on it. Oh, they all have S's. Maybe it's S for strawberry. Mm. Oh, I thought we were rating them. Mm. This one is good. Mm. It tastes like the lollipops they put in the popping candy feet. I like it. I would give that one a nine. Oh. There's cream inside. Should I spit it out? <gasps> mm, bro. It tastes like a splice icy pole with like the cream in it. Delicious. Let's try this packaging is so cute. Okay. Uh, I love cinnamon donuts. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. <laughs> it's just a little baby.
It tastes like Japanese donuts. I don't know what to tell you. They like their donuts denser and more cakey. Which I don't hate, but I don't love. Um, yeah. It tastes exactly like a cinnamon donut. But if you made a cinnamon donut more into a cake. Hmm. It's probably better if I eat these cinnamon donuts because I'm inclined to only eat one instead of like four. Um, I don't really like dark chocolate, but I think it's a good palate cleanser. We're getting towards the end of the box. Cacao no Megumi. I don't know what Megumi means in Japanese. What is all this packaging for? Adult proof. Ooh! Oh dear, he has not survived the overseas travel very well, this poor little chocolate. Oh. Mmm. Yeah, it tastes like old cooking chocolate. I don't like it. Mm. I like milk chocolate. Yeah. Okay. He has tomato chips. He's so cute. Look how big that chip is. It's like barbecue, um, but like with a little bit of chili. Mm, I like it. I would give it an 8.5. Here we have these little like cereal. Ooh, did not mean to get that many. They're like little strawberry coated cereal bites. Ah, I keep dropping them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not equipped for this. <laughs> um I didn't like them. The infamous Kit Kats. This one is strawberry shortcake. The packaging is so cute. And I love that these have a little like little section for writing. I think these would be great if you were a teacher and you could like give them out to the kids who are good and peg them at the ones who are naughty. It melted a little bit, um, probably because it had to come to Australia. You can see it's kind of got like a little bit of strawberry through it and it's very yogurty. I already know I don't like it. It's too much like that yogurty strawberry and that just gives me like flashbacks of muesli bars that I used to have at school and I used to hate them and I would chuck them in the bin every time. I just don't like it man. Uh, this is the fizzy bubbly man. They're cola flavoured. Ta-da! 
It looks like a forbidden snack, right? It's so fizzy. We have like the fizzy lifesavers here in Australia. It tastes very similar, but this is obviously cola flavor. Um, if you have the like urge to eat um like dishwashing tablets then i think you'll really like this it feels like it feels like my mouth is like a dishwasher <laughs> i'm not going to try this one because honestly i'm not hungry enough to eat ramen right now but we can all tell that this is going to be good they're always good I never had a bad instant ramen from Japan. And you can tell from this guy. Like, I definitely believe him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was everything from the Tokyo Treats box. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to move on to the Sakuroko options now. Let's go. I should tell you actually, before we move on, my favourite ones. Okay, definitely the hard candies with the cream inside, that's revolutionary. This is delicious and it's shaped like a cat's nose. Very good. Hmm. This one, very Moorish. Would buy this if I saw it. Would definitely enjoy this as a drinking snack. This one very good would probably get sickening quickly but in this portion i think it's perfect this one very good japan understands the crisps very very well no not you okay that's it <laughs> Those are my favourites. My least favourites, probably the chocolate ones. I really didn't like this. I don't like these. And I don't like these. Everything else is meh. Including the drink. Okay. I'm ready to move on now. Let's go to the Sakuroko box. See you there. 